All right, everyone, it is National Carrot Cake Day, one of my absolute favorites. And we thought that we'd celebrate by attempting to build a 10 layer cake. Chef Chris Meyer is the executive chef at Ocean Prime in Troy, which is famous for its 10 layer carrot cake. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Can you tell I'm me. kind of excited? I can tell. You can tell? I'm <laughs> excited as well. It's National <laughs> Carrot Cake Day. How could you not be excited? You're absolutely right. So tell us about your carrot cake. So what we have here is actually 20 layers. What? So You've got 10 layers of delicious carrot cake made with all fresh ingredients, and then you have 10 layers of cream cheese frosting as well. That's true, that is 20 layers. So that ends layers. up being 20 layers, right, so stacks right. up really nice and high. Okay. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually going to take a scoop of our cream cheese frosting here. We're gonna okay. do two scoops right on the top. Okay. There you go. Go ahead, you got a oh, scoop right there, two scoops. Am I doing that the same thing? Yep, two yep. scoops, kind of across the middle. And we're gonna take our offset spatula, a little bit of wet. Mm -hmm. You don't want it soaked with water, it's just gonna help the uh, frosting to not stick to the mm -hmm. carrot cake itself. Excellent, just gonna excellent. gonna smooth that out across the top. Up for the challenge, I'm so excited right now. Smooth it across the top. Yeah. Nice and you even want it to layer. Be even, right? And if yeah. it starts to stick to the uh, blade, you can just wipe it off on the wet towel that you have there and then back into the water. All right, so, Chef, I'm kind of competitive, so. Um, I how think am you I doing? might win. Go a little bit flatter. A little flatter. Rather than okay. just using the tip. Kind of down like this. Okay. I'm going for a design here. Oh, are all you? right. Well, you're going to put another <laughs> layer on, so you're going to cover up your design. Yes. Okay. So, after you get that frosted, we've got some extra layers here. All right. Now, what makes this carrot cake so. Uh, Ocean Prime famous? Well, it's our pineapple, coconut, and um, fresh carrot puree that we make in-house. I love it, I love it. Fresh ingredients make all the they, difference. They really do. 100%, and you can taste it with the first bite. Um, now, this is your trick to making these layers so thin, right? You're not baking like a giant thick layer of cake and slicing it. You're making the thin layers. It's Correct. So much easier making to work the thin with. layers, stacking them, and actually the key to making this successful is going to be um, partially freezing the cake halfway through oh. to keep it to where the weight of the cake and the frosting don't actually weigh it down. I love it. I love it. So, All right. You know. I got One more this. layer there. All right. Okay, for time purposes, you have we'll a just go with Tati well. as the rest of the way. <laughs> you and Tati, right? Uh, I'm, while you guys are doing that, I'm really yeah. interested in what you got going on over here. What, uh, All right, so and we'll just start from left to right from the viewer. Mm -hmm. And we have our beautiful prime bone-in ribeye. It's 24 ounces. That's all Jason really wanted to talk about. With but salt and pepper only. That's all and need, finished right? with a little bit That's of clarified butter. Then we have our crab cake appetizer, jumble up crab cake with a horseradish mustard aioli. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our signature Chilean sea bass, whipped herb whipped potatoes with a champagne vin blanc, finished with a little bit of truffle. And then Jason's favorite here, our goat cheese ravioli with goat cheese, basil, chive, a little bit of truffle oil, and a garlic white wine butter sauce. I am telling you, this is, if not the best appetizer in Metro Detroit, and then certainly it's top three. And it's a reason, to, seriously, and it's the reason to go to Ocean Prime. If you're gonna do some shopping at Somerset, you stop by, have one of these, and a martini, good. you're oh good to go. Look good. All right. All so right. Tati, how did you do over there? Um, chef. Look like you're doing I pretty some, well. I see some, see some open, open spaces okay. there. We I just felt like I was doing a little bit there. too yeah. much frosting. A little bit more frosting. Crumbs here. This looks like it chef, might be Chef, the crumbs are okay. <laughs> A little, a little flawed. Jason's got a good point. You don't want the crumbs to shine. Okay, so let me try a little bit more. So just a little bit more frosting. So this last good. question for you, Chef, because I'm obsessed with carrot cake. What makes one carrot cake better from another? Well, it, back to the fresh ingredients and making everything in house, and you know, um, making the pineapple sauce to go with it, mm -hmm. making sure that you've got enough vanilla in your cream cheese frosting to where it's not overpowering, but it's there. Um, and making sure that your cream cheese frosting is smooth. That is not an not, easy not thing to do. Sugary. Yes, that is so. not an easy thing to do. Where can people get the recipe for this towering cake? You can call me at the restaurant. I know that's right. Area code 248-458-0500, and I will print you out any recipe you would like. I love that. You can that. also come and visit us at 2915 Coolidge, right across the street from Somerset Mall. Thank you, Chef. 